Okay, so good morning, everybody. Monday, Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022, 1.36 a.m. Eastern Time. Chad is over here, so recorded a lot of Chad films, Chad trades. So, like, pulling pull all night or so in the morning, go home, shower and everything. But, yeah, we're just, like, pulling, like, like another all-nighter. Like, we, we did that yesterday, um, all-nighter yesterday, because the market opened Sunday, and we were off of work on Monday and then Tuesday as well. So, it's like, you got to use that time, bro. You can't even, you know, you're going to sleep early because you have work, so you don't have it. So, you have to write, you have to film, you have to... Um, do that and also um, market up and, and then you know trade and just work on that so all right so here's here's the update on the RSI the update on the market trading silver helping John trade oil he was trading crude oil I was helping him out like I was calling the signals and it was working for him he was making the money he just you know, made a few dollars and stuff uh, he got in late on um, one and stuff so but the trade he did was the five hour candle, so he uh, his trade was safe. Some of my, um, but it, like his trade was pretty safe because it's in the direction of the five hour candle, and um, he just did it once, so he was good. And then I think he put in a buy on that one because it went into a buy after all day it was selling all day, and I already know how that goes. Like it's gonna sell five hour candle, boom, all first shit, it did it. It's not fresh if anymore. It's gonna have to buy it for a little bit, bro. But remember, keep your eye on it. So he bought up and it started going to profit immediately and stuff. So it's up. He sent um, twenty dollars to my account. And I just sent it back to him when I get paid for my job Thursday. So um, in Bitcoin, he sent some Bitcoin so I could trade, throw in more trades and stuff. So um, I did some silver buys. I did like two or three silver buys or whatever. I, I did two with that money, but I, it got thrown into an account that already had money in it, and it w would just let me, you know, margin more. So I did margin one more, so it was like, um, it was one trade in there before, and then I put in like two, and then I put one more, so it was like four in there. So it's like four buys <clears throat> on silver, and we're gonna hold those buys until the end of first shift tomorrow, tomorrow, today, being Tuesday. So Tuesday, first shift, end of first shift, Funding, market close, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Around that time, we start to close, you know, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. And get ready for the sell down, you know, get ready for the uh, reversion down. And now we know what we're looking for because we're catching the signals. It's like we'll just get out too early. We're catching the signals here, people, and we're just getting out too early. So now I know when you get out, when you get in, your entry and your exit is the same signal. It is neutral. Neutral. I say you should always say it. I don't care about anything until the Matt D goes neutral. Once the Matt D go he always said the ROC. The rate of change. The ROC. The rock. The rock. Right? The rock. The diamond. Right? The ROC. The rock. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like Jay Z was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? The rock. The ROC. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. It was like, you know, that was real subliminal. The rock. R O C like I could work with Jay-Z on some business stuff just because of that, just because I connected that to that, even if he didn't know it, like, yo, just so you know, and then especially, like, if he knows who I am, because, like, I've used the ROC to make a lot of money, then, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I made this much money, like, just as much as you have, like, uh, the ROC, you know what I'm saying, and then we can, you know, I teach him, and then we can, like, work or something like that, because, like, why wouldn't you use that? Like, like, are you gonna keep that secret? Like, cause when I learned it, I just felt like you knew that you were keeping it a secret, but you wouldn't have known that. But I'm like, you know, now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm that nigga with the ROC. You know what I'm saying? I'm the ROC. You don't even know what the fuck the ROC is. I think it's a fucking rock. This thing is tripping people. Get your boy. Oh, get your boy. That's your man's. I'm sorry. They wear Hawaiian shirts and shit. Wear your Hawaiian shirts and nigga. Oh, 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 word, nigga? Nah, nigga. I like the Jay-Z who was in the Hawaiian shirts, nigga. Fuck out of here. You know? No shit. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> Raw footage on I right, so anyway, I'm sorry. I was having a moment. Listen. I don't hear you niggas. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to throw up a giggle. I'm not gonna be a dramatic actor. Sit on the steps and cry for an hour before the scenes. Like, all right, when I'm at the right, it's like, you know, you, you have to be all set at this time. Like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to have, like, my trailer on set or something. I'm gonna have, like, my own trailer there or something. Like, I'll be in the hotel and everything, but like halfway through the night, I'll go to a post that spot on set that I have like my own room on set or something. I, you know what I'm saying? I wish like, I let them know, like, yo, build me a room on set. A room, like, yeah, just give me your room. Okay, cool. So, like, so I'll be on set before everybody. I'll be right there. No shit. Like, I'm gonna have something. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna have something. Because I'll be in a hotel anyway, so that's nothing. So, I'm just leaving the hotel and going up set. So go real early on set and then have like a room there so I can just continue resting there. So it's like everybody else gets there. I'm like, oh shit, you know, I'm already here. And I'm just getting ready. Like, y'all what's up? You know what I'm saying? I already took a shower already. You know, I took another one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just really like, just, I don't know why I keep doing here looking there, but. You know, really just doing that. But, all right, so the update for the forest and stuff. So we have $30 back on the line and uh, four trades in there. So for silver, we have it in a buy. The buy is a five-hour matte green situation. Matte D is green, so it is a matte green situation. The matte D is green on the five-hour chart, so it is a matte green situation for the silver. And um, at SAG USD, so we are um, buying those up and holding those until tomorrow, um, the end of the shift. And we're just doing that every day. And on the one minute chart and the 15 minute chart, we are, like on the 15 minute chart, we're going off of the uh, stochastic RSI. And um, after the chart is uh, all that color or whatever, um, what else? Um, like, I will, for the 15 minute chart, we're waiting for, like, the stochastic RSI to be at zero or 100, and then to see if the, uh, stochastic goes to 20 or 80 for oversold or overbought, but we're looking at the one minute for it to go all one color and then push, so on investing.com, it would say summary. You click technical analysis, it will say summary. You click five hour chart, click one minute chart, click five minute chart, click 15 minute chart, click hourly chart, boom. Look at the summary. The summary will say buy or sell or strong sell or strong buy or neutral. So it's going to say neutral when it's crossing above or below, four, below 50. Above or below 50. It's just like the movie Speed. Real shit. Once it crosses above 50, you know, you can't take it for another gas or everything's gonna explode. These movies have told us really how the game goes. And I'm gonna piece it all together. And that's gonna make me the man. Yeah. You love that face. That's my frog face. And then I sound like a frog. Yeah. So... Uh, what else? RSI, one minute, boom. So, that means you're going to see two neutrals. 
you got to see the intro twice. When it's crossing above 50 or below 50, and then crossing above 50 or below 50. Real talk. It's either going to be crossing it from above or below. And then going to do that again. So it's going to say neutral. Like if it was selling, let's say it was selling, it would say sell. Like it would say neutral. Then it would say sell. Then it would say strong sell. Then it would say sell again. So it would say sell twice. It would say strong sell once, unless it like comes back. But like, um, unless you know, it says that again. So it might say that twice. So it might say everyone twice. So you have your your buy right after your neutral and your strong sell. So you would have a uh, you have a sell strong sell neutral. Or you know you have a sell strong sell sell neutral buy strong buy. Buy, neutral, sell, strong sell, sell, neutral. So there might be a strong buy, strong sell that pops up in between those, but maybe not. So um, like it might just be brief because like sometimes it, yeah, you know the note would fuck, it go away. Like I go, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that was a that was a crossover. So it was like kind of fake, fake out. It was a pump fake. So. Um, the one minute, so that's how you do it now. So it's like, okay, you have to look at your five hour MACD. That's your five hour candle. You have to know what that is. So that's your long. So I know my, you have to know what the trade is. This trade is a long or is it short? The MACD five hour is green. So it's a MAC green situation. So that means for silver, MAC green situation, it is a buy. That is the five hour long term, hold it, safe, trade, boom, do that once. That's it, right? So from there, go to the one minute chart. So now you have your long five hour trade accounts. Now five hour means that you hold it longer than five hours, but it just means that within the next five hours, it's gonna be going up basically. You know, in the last five hours, it's going up. So, um, um, on the one minute, Look at the one minute and see if it is now buying or selling. You know what your long is. The long is, I want to go this direction long. Is right now the perfect time to get into that direction? Check the one minute for your current entry right now. Well, right now is selling. And that one minute is really like an hour long, multiple hours long. That one minute could be four hour candle. That one minute could be an hour, two hours. Like that one minute. It's not a one minute trade, boy. It's a one minute chart. That means every candle on that chart, every signal on that chart is a one minute signal. So when you're looking at the weekly chart, every single candle on there is a weekly candle. That's why it's bigger. The hourly candle is bigger. The five minute candle is bigger. One minute candle, smallest one. 15 minute candles, bigger. 30 minute candles, bigger. Monthly candles, bigger. Daily candles, bigger. You're like, you look at that daily candle, look at you're like, oh, like you're looking. So that whole chart, you count each candle. That's a day. You count them all. It might be like 15 days. It might be like two weeks, three weeks, a month. Like, yo, you're looking at a month's worth of shit on the daily. So the daily is really a monthly chart. The five hour chart for oil is like a year. That shit crazy. Because the five hour chart for oil, the signal that started to buy for oil, that oil is selling now, but the signal that started to buy, it was touched like December 21st, 2021 or some shit, bro. Five hour chart. What? Okay, cool. This five hour chart's gonna start off for a year. Zoom, zoom. Like real talk, like giddy up. You understand like real shit? Like dress me like a cowboy at that point. Wild Wild West, like real shit. Dress like a straight cowboy. Everything cowboy, you know what I'm saying? Right? Like, you know, like, right? I mean, like, for real. Like, at that point, at that point, 
that's what we were missing. You see how we got the entries, right? I've been saying the entries, and if you watch the charts and go back and look at the historical data, you'll see it hit those at some point, and it's all about did I get out of that one at the proper time. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. It was like, I was like, you know, you try to catch it from the tippy top or from the bitty bottom. You know what I'm saying? Bitty bottom, bitty bottom. You know what I'm saying? We're talking finance. You know what I'm saying? F you and f me and f Kim and f everybody that got a problem with Mike Lowry. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Real shit. Why are my eyes just like, whoa, 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 stop. You know what I'm saying? My eyes dark so fast. I'm not doing that on purpose, but stop this. Oh, uh, nah, nigga, you gay. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Uh, sorry. Pause. <gasps> hey. Pause. I'm sorry. Stop. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. You know what I'm saying? If you think that's cool, you gay. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. But. Real shit. Real shit. Tattoo. All your letters are right here. Hey, tattoo what letter you are. Right here. Real top. Real top. Real. Top. <coughs> It's like, I'm teaching you about money. You can't cancel me, bitch. Cancel your rent. You know what I'm saying? What you mean, mate? I'm breaking down the codes to Wall Street. I'm going to say whatever I want to say. But I only want to say what I need to say. Listen. Don't laugh at me. Been through a lot of boogers in my life. Boogers, boogers, boogers. Seen a lot of boogers. 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 Is that a booger? That's a booger. I have to get that booger out of there. But yeah, I don't know why. I just like had snot. I was trying to like sneeze before. Not sneeze, but like roll that out. But before I filmed, cause I didn't like think about the fact that the booger just and then you saw one, so. So all you're gonna talk about now is like, so I'm really gonna go get ready to get that out of there. You know what I'm saying? You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna like put the phone down. Just get rid of the booger and then check. Give me a second. Sorry about that, you see the water right there? So, this is about to go off in a minute. I just always look to the side. The camera is right there. You know, I just want to train myself to remember like, where the eye of the camera is. When it's like, okay for me to look at the camera, it's not actual film, then can I do this? But, if it's not, just remember, like, it's the camera eye, you know? This kind of shot, it's just selfie. Look in the camera, hot boy. You know what I'm saying? Our best close up.